My granddaddy was um, a real hillbilly. He was a mountain man from uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina, a place called Beaver Creek near Ashe County. And um, he taught me to love country music. Um, when I was a kid, I used to sit on his knee and he'd listen to the radio from Nashville. WSM, the Grand Ole Opry. Only he talked funny, being a mountain man. He, he didn't call it WSM. He said, we're going to tune in double yes ma'am on the radio here. <laughs> and, uh, and he didn't call it the Grand Ole Opry. He said, we're going to listen a little bit of the Grand Ole Uproar on our talking radio machine. And uh, he had moved out of the mountains to Winston-Salem, North Carolina, to work for the railroad. That's how I became a city billy instead of a hillbilly, because granddaddy had moved to Winston-Salem. And he worked for the Southbound. And uh, one night we were listening to the Grand Ole Opry, Roy Acuff and the Smoky Mountain Boys and Minnie Pearl and all that. And I was sitting on his knee playing with his railroad watch. And uh, just a little fella. And he said, you know something, son, I'm a mountain man and I'm a railroad man. I know about them things. Let me tell you something. And I said, yes, sir. He said, you know, life's just like a mountain railroad. And I said, what do you mean, Granddad? And he said, well, you know, sometimes you're up on a mountaintop where the sun's shining and the sky's blue and everything's going great. Then sometimes you go way down in a deep, dark holler where it's scary and lonesome, dark. He said, life's just like that, just like a mountain railroad. Sometimes the road of life gets to twisting and turning. And if you don't watch it, sometimes you get sidetracked. Granddaddy said, stay off the sidetrack, son. Stay on the main line. I didn't know what he was talking about. And uh, I was just a little fella. And then he said to me, he said, you know, son, when you get a little older, you'll understand what I'm talking about. He said, when you get older, the road's going to get bumpy for you, just like it does for everybody. It's bound to happen. It's just part of life. He said, sometime the ride gets a little bumpy out there. But he said, that's not what's important. The important thing is not how rough the ride is. It's the final destination. It's a funny thing, I thought he was talking about railroads. <laughs> Granddaddy's favorite song was um, a song uh, called Life's Railway to Heaven. I remember when I was a little kid, some railroad men sang it at his funeral. And uh, I sang it at my daddy's funeral. I hope someday uh, George Hamilton V sings it at mine. <laughs> Life is life mountain railroad with an engineer that's brave we must make the run successful from the grave to the grave watch the curves that fills the tunnels do your duty and never fail Keep your hand upon the throttle and your eye upon the rail. Blessed Savior, thou must guide us till we reach that blissful shore where the angels wait to join us in thy praise. As you roll across the trestle, spanning Jordan, swelling tide, you behold. The Union Depot into which your train will glide. There you'll meet the superintendent, God the Father and God the Son. With a hearty, joyous plaudit, we're from welcome. Blessed Savior, thou must guide 
Till we reach that blissful shore Where the angels wait to join us In thy praise forevermore Where the angels wait to join us In thy praise forevermore These clips are great, but to see full episodes, go to CountryRoadTV.com.